Okay? It makes messages easier to understand. Mas madaling maunawaan at matandaan ang mensahe. And of course, katulad dito, yan. Fact, we have better recall for visual information. Visual tra trumps all other senses. So, this is one example of a visual aid. Tungkol sa mata. Okay? Ito, another visual aid. Yung ubukabularyo na ginawa natin. Di ba? At nagpakita pa kami ng video. Di ba napalagi yung video nyo? Sa ubukabula. Nakita mo siya. It, it gives you the message. Umubo. Okay? What else? <coughs> Before, ganyan. May, 
Bago magka-TV, ganyan. Pero nung nagkamot siya, ganyan na. Simple, di ba? Actually, kayo na po, natitap ako pa rin na yung picture ko, picture ko. Why use visual aid? Can't show steps in doing something, like this one. Bigyang halaga ang paghuhugas ng kamay matapos kong bobo bumahin. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Nakikita mo yung proper steps. Diba? Next! Visual aid can serve as a trigger for discussion. They can serve as a trigger for discussion. Like this one. Or I'll show you something. This is a video that can trigger some discussions. and we remember that. Dots ay tulto ka. Okay? So this is it. Again, tell me, I will forget. Show me, I will remember. Involve me, this is by Confucius. Okay. Let me add here a, a talk that I gave to, to doctors before. And this is what I call about communication in the health setting. The voice is, for me, the most powerful sound in the whole world. Yung voices. Why? Because ang voices po, 
can start a war or can bring a family together. Very, very powerful. The voice. Okay? And therefore, when you talk of the voice, okay, tayo po, when we try to speak and in communicate, communicating with each other, there is what I call the seven deadly sins of communication or speaking. And I'd like to introduce this seven deadly sins of communication and speaking primarily in the context of parishes and primarily in the context of BECs. Why? Because these seven deadly sins can bring about no, a delineation or hindi pagkakaintindihan in your own BEC primarily in education. Okay? Paano tayo mag-reach out? Number one, ang matamaan po, tamaan ha. Bahala na kayo. Number one, it's what I call gossiping. Gossiping. Chismis. Okay? And this, the voice of the one gossiping when you are communicating, okay, talks about speaking in of somebody not present. And that would stop already your communication process. Tama mo ba ako? Kaya pag yung nagtuturo ka ng may TV, edu eh, eh, TV education, magbigay ka ng example na hindi doon sa komunidad. Alas na ako nandun at sabihin mo, ay alam niyo ba, natuturo ka. Si DC, yung nandiyan sa may kanto, yung natitida ng, ano, ng fishball araw-araw, may TV. That's already gossiping. Mukha siya may TV. It's speaking in of someone. Okay? That's one that is sin of communication. Another is what I call prejudging. Or we call it biases already. Okay? Biases. Mahirap kong makinig sa taong hinuskahan mo na. It's difficult to listen who you are judging and you have judged them ahead of time. Clear? Halimbawa, ako po, ma'am, ang gusto po mag-volunteer sa parokya. Mukha ka may TV. Ikaw ang i-refer natin. Judgment. Tama? Hindi ka pwede maging volunteer. Judgment. That's pre-judging already. The third one is what I call negativity. Negativity are those people na wala nang sinabi kundi negative things. Okay? Tell the recipient what cannot be done. And usually, they have a subtle tone. No? A subtle tone of blame. Kung baga, kung ibababa mo ang programa ito sa parokya mo, sigurado ako may mga negative persons. Hindi hmm. natin kaya yan. Hindi hmm. matay doktor. Hmm. Wala ka naman pinagkakanan. Hmm. Ikaw may TV. You get my point? That's negativity and it will stop the communication process. Okay. Fourth one, it's what I call complaining. Okay. This is another deadly sin of communication because it would always pertain to people who cannot see something good happening. There is nothing good that is happening already. Sabi na nung pusa, I came. I saw, I complained. Right? These are the complaining people. They are always dissatisfied with the things happening. Pero ang kiko po dyan, just good thing. As long as it's good, okay, and for the benefit of many, continue. You can at least everyone. Next one, number five, excuses. Sabi ng Nike, just do it. Pero sa mga tao marami excuses, just didn't do it. Lagi hindi yan natatagpuan ang kanyang rason. Usually, these are the blame throwers. O oh, bakit ka late? Uh, kasi inutusan pa ako ni Father. O oh, bakit ka ganito? Hindi na plancha yung uniform mo. Uh, kasi, uh, kasi, Uh, kasi yung driver ng tricycle. 
Hindi na ang kami sa luba. Excuses. These are, there are many people who are excuse, excusers. If there's a word like that. Okay? And then the sixth one is what I call pre-ultimate. Or the embroidery. Ito naman yung exage. Pag nagsalita sila, exage. Exaggerated. Example. Dito sa ating parokya, may kasama pang higpi. 35 na po ang namatay. Mga bata, edad 10 hanggang 12 anyos dahil sa tuberculosis. Exaggerated. But you know what? That is also what I call lying. It is lying. Bakit nila ginagawa yun? Because they like to sound more interesting. Okay? They want sympathy from the listener. Di ba? Uy, 35 doon ng mga bata na matay na dahil sa tuberculosis. Ah, ah. Pag sinayin mo yun, then you will get the attention. Pero is it the truth? Is it the truth? Okay? Clear? Take no. It is lying because it is stretching the truth. And the sixth one is what I call dogmatism. Dogmatism are those people who only believe okay, that they are the ones correct. You love at wala nang iba, baby. These are the horses na nakapirin yung kanilang mata at isa na ang kanilang nakikita. Dogmatism. O, oh, sabi ni Father Dan, gawin ito lang gagawin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pinigay ko yung 1, 2, 3. But in your own context, you can play. 1, 5, 2, 4, 3. Do you get my point there? Eh? Okay. So, these are what I call the seven deadly sins of speaking or communicating, even in community organizing. However, if you have there the seven the disease of speaking. There are also the four cornerstones. Okay? The powerful cornerstones of the voice. The voice. Yeah, yeah. And I make use of the word hail. Okay? The word hail in English means to cheer, to salute, to greet, to welcome. And I like to make use of the word hail. H-A-I-L Huwag niyo kalimutan ha? H-A-I-L As speakers, as educators later on, the first thing is you have to be honest. You have to be honest. Honest is the quality of being fair and truthful. Okay? Present the correct data. That is honesty. Present also the correct scenario. That is honesty. Letter A, authenticity. Authenticity is be yourself. Be yourself. That's authenticity. A degree of one who is true to one's own personality. That's authenticity. Kung alin ako na dito sa harapan, ganun din po ako. Ay, ganyan ka ng father, mm -mm. malikot, mm -mm. makulit, mm -mm. letter I, integrity, integrity, I is be your word, if authenticity is be yourself, letter I is be your word. Kung anong sinabi mo, yun ang gawin mo. Yun ang isang buhay mo. That's integrity. And as TV educators, later on in the community, be your word. O maghanap tayo ng may TV sa community. Ikaw, mismo trino, ando ka lang sa ba, hindi ka naghahanap. Yung mga trinin mo, sila lang naghahanap. Tapos follow ko, follow ko, maghanap kayo, maghanap kayo, maghanap kayo, maghanap kayo. Ang don, ang don niya, hindi pa po kayo nakakahanap. 
senyorita, senyora. Pero ikaw, integrity is be your word. And the L is what I call love. Love. Love is not something romantic here. But when you talk of tuberculosis, it is wishing the other goodness. There's always goodness intention for the other. That is love. And you have to bring out the goodness from the other person. Hindi ba pag ikaw na mamahal, lahat mabuti dapat? Ang tunay na pagmamahal, hindi dapat nakakasama. Ang tunay na pagmamahal, dapat lagi nakakabuti. Here, honesty, authenticity, integrity, and that's what you can use in TV education. Okay? I said that the voice, the voice is a powerful sound. And for me, the voice is a powerful toolkit or a powerful toolbox. It's a powerful toolbox. Because if it's a toolbox, then may mga laman dapat yung loob. Am I right? Okay. At anong dapat yung laman ng loob mo, ng voice mo? It must contain the following. The proper register, the proper timber, the proper prosody, the proper pace, the proper pitch, and the proper volume. Like say, say natin. The proper register. Is that the proper register? Usually, when you have to make a point, you have to get it from a lower on the chest. Have you observed politicians? When they are making a speech, politicians will have always a low voice. Low voice. And they get it from, depth, from the depth. Like tuberculosis is one of the deadliest disease in the country. It is the number six that causes death among Filipinos. Nagagaling dito. Hindi nagagaling sa taas, ha? Pero nagagaling dito. Yung tuberculosis ay number six. Ay, hindi ka pa. Bakit? That's what I call registry. Okay? How about timber? Okay? Timber is what I call if you have this slow or smooth voice. Okay? Yung mga iba, ah, nagka-crack yung voice. If your voice is a good toolbox, then your voice must also be smooth. Smooth. And tuberculosis. Wow, sarap pakinggan. Ang tuberculosis ay nakakahawang sakit na sanghi na mikrobyong ang pangalan ay mycobacterium tuberculosis. Pero pag nagka-crack ang voice mo, the timber is not good. Di ba? Ang tuberculosis ay, ay, okay. nagka-crack siya, it's, it's not good. Okay. Next, when you have prosody, okay. prosody is uh, sometimes, um, I'll, I'll go first to pace so that I can discuss prosody. Pace is what I call fast. Fast or slow. Okay. Ang tuberculosis ay nakakahawang sakit. Sakit, ang sanghi ay mycobacterium tuberculosis. Ang mga simptomas ay una, umuubo ng nabing dalawang linggo. Okay. Pangalawa, umuubo ng ganito. Meron na na. Pagbababag ng tiba, ang bilis. Iba rin naman yung sobrang bagay. Ang tuberculosis. That's what I call mixing. Okay. Kahit ako sa pumili, di ba may mga tuberculosis? ang tuberculosis. Parang si Kuya Sesa. That's what I call pacing. Dapat yung tama-tama lang sa paningin o pandinig ng mga tao. Pacing. Mayroon din naman yung mabilis. Okay? It's very, very difficult. Sometimes I have that tendency. Medyo mabilis ako. Lalo na na may na-i-do lectures. 
Kaya sa sabi ng mga sudyante, Father, okay, step on the break, break mo na break. Nasa pangalawang sentence pa lang kami, patapos ka na. Eh, isang paragraph yun. So see, step on the You have to be very, very sensitive. Okay. Next, when you talk of pitch, pitch, okay. may mga nag-relection na mataas ang pitch. Ang tuberculosis. Ang, ang saliin po ito. Pag pag-ikap, ano problema niya? <laughs> pag pakainin mo nga ng luya. Okay. That's very, very difficult. Or, usually, when you give pogs, mas mababa, mas maganda talaga. Pag mas mababa masyado mataas, yung hindi masyado masakit sa tenga. Okay? You, have, you know how to modulate it. Okay? Mahirap kasi pag masyado mataas okay? yung ating pitch. Clear? And of course, the last one before you go to prosody is volume. With the top of volume, Volume ang tuberculosis ay masyado malakas. Unlike ang tuberculosis ay Ikaw yung nag-relect yun. Saan yung po ito na? Ay, nako. Tutulog ka ka. It's volume. Okay? Clear? Meron ba ako nakalimutan? Registry, timber, prosody, pace, pitch, volume. Klaro? What is prosody? Prosody is what I call the sing song of words. Okay? Ito yung sing song of words. Okay? Pag minsan malakas, pag minsan mahina. Kung mag crescendo, decrescendo. Okay? Mahirap pag monotonous lang yung ang tuberculosis ay sanhi, nakakahawang sakit na ang kanilang sanhi ay ang mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mga simptomas, una, okay? upo, dalawang linggo, pangalawa, labilat paghapon, pangatlo. Monotonous, di ba? Pero prosody is sing song. Okay? Sing song. Parang kumakata, may malakas, may mahina. That's what I call prosody. So, register, timber, Prosody, pace, pitch, volume. Pag minsan, sometimes, when you give talks, at gusto mong stress ng isang bagay, you can do it in a very soft manner. Hindi kinakailangan malakas, pero may pwede, mahinga, para lahat ng tao makikinig. Mamaya, makikita natin na mag-electro kayo dito. Okay. Your timber, your prosody, your pace, your, your, uh, your pitch, your volume. Okay? May I ask you to please all stand up? Kumuha ko ng pencil, pencil ko kayo ng umaga. Nagsusulat ako sa akin. Maganda siguro magkawa tayo ng voice warm-up exercises. Do you know? Okay. Voice warm-up exercises. Okay. Hindi ko tulad ng music. Okay. It, doesn't, it doesn't mean that you'll be music. Okay? So, first step. I, I usually have my six steps of voice warm-up exercise. So you like, ah, ah. Yeah, go.
first step. Pwede po bang pakibigay yung ating mga visual aid? 